The current landscape for metastatic phalangeal carcinoma is uh, somewhat limited. Uh, at this time, for patients in the first line setting, the standard of care regimen is still the ABCO2 uh, regimen of gemcitabine and cisplatin that has been in practice for now some time. And that was a trial that demonstrated a benefit and overall survival benefit for the combination of 11.2 months. In patients who have progressed on this first line setting, unfortunately, we don't have a true standard of care. The closest that we have to that is the recently presented ABC06 trial that looked at the combination of full FOX plus a supportive care and compared this to supportive care alone. And that trial did show a benefit in overall survival in the second line setting of 6.2 months compared to placebo. Um, and because it was a phase three trial, it's considered by many to be the standard of care now in the second line setting. Uh, beyond this, there's been other chemotherapy combination regimens that have been studied. We don't have high level uh, evidence for other regimens, and there's certainly a need for additional therapeutics for this disease. In, in the past uh, few years, there's been a great deal of research and work that has been done identifying various mutations that occur in cholangiocarcinoma. And these mutations and changes are potentially actionable. And this has really led to development of novel therapeutics that can be beneficial in a subset of patients. So with the better understanding of the molecular pathways that are involved in cholangiocarcinoma, we've had the ability to now design drugs that are highly selective for specific pathways. Uh, this is beneficial because potentially by doing this, you can limit the toxicities of compounds and also avoid uh, additional toxicities that may occur due to off-target uh, effects from the therapies.